Are we taping? Yes. It's on now? Yes. Hello everyone. We're on the air. Hello everyone. So, I don't know what to say. I don't either. Did we test it yet? No, let's... We're testing, we can, are we? we okay. <laughs> <laughs> Or we can just make this the video. Worst YouTube video ever. <laughs> um, so, uh, we're here in Toronto. I figure I'll do the... the I'll do the intro since yeah, we're, we are in Toronto. TG Toronto. This is TG Toronto, yeah. So, on the, <laughs> on the right side of your screen, you will see uh, TG Montreal. And on the left side of your screen is TG Toronto. <laughs> and uh, this is a weekend of... Um, epic proportion. We are gathering for for socializing of the two networks and uh, this has never happened before. Um, it's been nice to meet you. Yes, it's been nice to meet you guys too. I'm so shy. I can't talk in front of camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jamie's built it up so much How are you liking Toronto? It's nice. It's it's like New York but smaller apparently. But I've never been to New York. But it's also like Montreal but bigger. Yeah, we like to pretend we're in New York and we fail normally. <laughs> well, you even have your little make believe Times Square. Oh yeah, that's right. Nathan, <laughs> Nathan Phillips Square for anyone who doesn't know. Complete with like uh, giant TV monitors. And that's right. Yes, actually. Should tell them about the view here because I don't even know what what direction this is. South and south. You can kind of see the CN Tower this way. And the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> What's the Big Bang Theory you keep mentioning? It, it's that huge billboard. It's a television show. Oh, oh, it's oh, a, oh yeah. That does. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> All right. Cool. Which is lit up like daytime. Yeah. All of the time. Kind of but kind of Times Square. Also. Yeah, it is kind of Times Square. <laughs> Um, so is there anything we need to talk about? Boobs. Boobs, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, for those we who all don't know, boobs. yeah. <laughs> women usually have boobs, you know. We wouldn't want to be so prejudiced as to imply that women who do not have boobs are not women. And I have had a breast augmentation recently. And it was actually just like uh, yesterday, I think. Yes, it was <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> But I am recovering pretty well. I have actually been out to restaurants now like three times. Maybe. And Aaron and I have met with Jamie and Bronwyn. And it's been fun. Yeah. Yes, it has been. Good talking. Well, for the record, I'd like to say none of us are drunk, even though <laughs> yeah. I'm it's, sensing it's not yeah. coming across <laughs> in the video. <laughs> <laughs> you might totally seem like we're completely drunk right now. We totally yeah. aren't, though. None of us has had any yeah. alcohol. Unless you were drinking on the job. I was not drinking on the job. <laughs> I got up work an hour ago. I haven't had time. So. So how are you feeling? Uh, you say you're feeling okay, but is uh, is there much pain on day day two? I guess yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, no, actually. Like, um, I guess when the painkillers wear off, I start feeling a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, like I said, uh, it feels a bit like my skin is stretched. Mm which I guess it is, yeah. <laughs> and right now it feels like the rests are very hard, they feel a little bit unnatural, but hopefully that will settle pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. The pain-wise it's been very tolerable. I have actually been able to get enough sleep, which is great, because I remember when I had facial feminization, I could hardly fall asleep, and uh, that, that was one of the hardest things about my recovery, not, not being able to sleep and Waking up because of the pain. Mm -hmm. Also, I guess because the painkillers they gave me were, were very ineffective, yeah. despite being very hazardous to my health. Yeah. <laughs> and what about bruising? Well, right now there's almost no visible bruising, so that's actually pretty nifty too. I mean, I was expecting a lot. I've seen some some best augmentation results that had a lot of bruising a few days later. I'm still wondering if there isn't going to be more bruising like tomorrow or in a few days. I guess it's possible. But I feel like right now there's so little bruising that I might actually be able to wear like a low-cut top if I wanted. And it will look pretty normal. That's exciting. That's very exciting. You must be happy. I'm totally looking forward to like uh, 
showing everybody who you <laughs> And now you know that there's all these guys out there in YouTube land who are going like, oh god, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Barry got a little bit of a free show in the last video. <laughs> yeah, to all the creeps on YouTube, like, keep watching, <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> so, uh, we might, I don't know, we might post this video on, on my channel too. Um, sure. Maybe. I don't really post many videos anymore, but uh, for anybody who's seen my videos, I'm Fiddle Jamie. Um, and uh, I started making videos, we started making videos uh, about the same time we were talking about it earlier tonight. Um, somewhere in around early to mid 2007, I think. Um, and uh, it's, it's really exciting how much things have sort of exploded on YouTube. Uh, with the whole trans community, it's, it seems like it's like a self-sustaining movement now, uh, rather than a frail little thing like it was back then. Where, where if one person would have left, then it would have been broken. Yeah, I think YouTube now is actually a very useful resource for the whole trans community and for everybody who wants to get information and wants to see what real trans people are actually like and what yeah. their life experiences are are like. Um, I think it's, it's actually a nice complement to all the information that's publicly available on other websites. Mm -hmm. Whereas when I started making videos and when you started, it was just uh, mostly, I guess, videos of like Jerry Springer, yeah. <laughs> freaky yeah. tranny stuff, and, and a few people making video blogs, but really not many. Yep, yep. Well, yeah, and the written stuff, like websites, are often run by uh, late transitioners. Mm -hmm. you no, know, it's really a different narrative. And uh, there's not a lot of non op. It's also the narrative of only one person, and it's often written in a very formal way, so you, you don't really, it doesn't really tell you what it's like to be a trans person or what you might experience, it's more like some information, they'll give you information about SRS and about hormones and about breast implants and some some arbitrary definition of what it means to be a transsexual. Yeah, yeah. It's not like hearing somebody talk about it. Like an actual life experience making it human. So, um... <clears throat> Bronwyn and I are partners, um, Max and Aaron are, are together, I think you guys, you said you've been together for three years this November, and Bronwyn and I have been together for about two and a half years, so, um, yeah, we're, we're pretty happy, and it's cool to meet another couple in kind of a similar situation, it's really Yeah, cool. I agree, we don't know anyone else like us in Montreal. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer. Yeah. But, um... I mean, I think I think Toronto has come a long way in the last little while. The Sherborne Health Center and stuff is is really good, and um, and probably Montreal isn't isn't far off. It just takes sort of one clinic and some people just to sort of get something going. Yeah, I still think Montreal has kind of a long way to go in, in some sense because it's, it seems like you can't really get publicly funded uh, therapy in Montreal. Mm -hmm. You have to pay for a private therapist, and it's very expensive. And there's not a lot of them. It's hard to find one. It's hard to find one. It's hard to find doctors who will prescribe. I think there's a lot of progress to be made, and I wish there was more of um, a government mandate to uh, to provide support for trans people, because right now it feels like it's really like every little every city has to have their own support in place for trans people. Yeah. Otherwise, it just isn't happening. It's really true, actually. Yeah, I can't even imagine what it must be like if you live outside of a big city. It must be even worse because all the resources are uh, in the big cities. Mm -hmm. Would you say Quebec, or, um, Montreal is the best city in Quebec for trans I people? Think so. I, think, I think so just because it's the biggest. Mm -hmm. It's the one where there's going to be the most therapists and the most mm -hmm. doctors that are going to be qualified. I also and, think you have yeah. a leg up if you're an Anglophone because you can inform yourself a lot better if you speak English and can okay. get benefit from all the information on the internet. Uh, I think uh, trans people who are 100% uh, French speaking always seem to be a little bit more in the dark about stuff yeah. when we meet them. You know, they're not aware. Like, they've only heard of Dr. Brassard. You know, they think he's the only guy to go do uh, SRS with. And 
I mean, there's nothing wrong with him, but to not know about your options is a little bit uh, of a disadvantage. And it's something we don't talk about very much, but um, people have asked me, you know, as a French Canadian, why I why do you not make videos in French? And the reason for that is because the community is, is much, much smaller. Mm -hmm. I mean, right now, I'm getting near 8,000 subscribers. I can reach a lot of people online. But if I made my videos only in French, I think the number of subscribers I would have right now would be, I don't know, perhaps less than 300. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, you're talking about like a, a pretty big difference there. Yeah. Maybe you should subtitle all your videos. <laughs> Well, I've been thinking about that. I mean, YouTube has a service now to automatically generate subtitles, and right now it works horribly. Maybe someday in the future they'll have automatic subtitles working properly with Google Translate, and you can actually watch That'd be cool. which videos in other languages. Yeah, that would be good. Mm -hmm. uh, we, oh, I was just going to say, though, that it might not help very much because some people I know don't even know YouTube exists. Like, there's, they're not, not only do they not watch videos because they're in English, they don't even know that there's such thing as YouTube or Slash Dot or TechCrunch. They've never heard of any of these websites just because they're not in French and they just navigate the, like, 2% of the internet that's in French. Yeah. So, I don't know, my advice to you if you're a French, French-speaking tranny and you don't speak any English, my first advice you would be pick up English. It's very useful. Once you understand this video. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then you may begin with your transition to step two. Um, we didn't introduce ourselves at the beginning of this video, and presumably they might be watching it on a channel. Doesn't know oh. who we are. This oh. is Tranny Girl 15. Okay. Yes. And I'm little Jamie, like I said before. Um, Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. I don't have a channel. I'm Aaron with two N's. Please spell it correctly in all the comments where you presume to know what I'm thinking. <laughs> She's my girlfriend. That's right. <laughs> so, yeah, anyways, we had a good sushi dinner tonight, good conversation, and we thought we'd just shoot a little video. Just... Hey. <laughs> Anything else anyone wants to say? I'm gonna make sure to make her show you her boobs in an upcoming video. Ooh. So that's the subscribe. Hanger. <laughs> the hanger. The boobs are coming. <laughs> it's like as soon as they're healed enough, you know, like I'm gonna totally take bikini pictures. One of those bikinis with just little triangles. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Come on YouTube. Full on makeup and high oh, yeah. heels. Pasties. You know, like, yeah. <laughs> like, okay, now this is getting turned into a big hanger. Okay, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, good night, YouTube. Bye. Bye. Okay, so hopefully that was properly recorded. <laughs> but we didn't just talk yeah. to ourselves in a room yeah. for 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, okay. Still says wreck. <laughs> <laughs>